Hello and welcome to the course on Docker Basics. My name is Sijesh and this video I will show you how to use Docker Compose and uh, create multiple containers. So first let me check is there any containers are running. So just use Docker container ls and uh, check images available Docker image ls. Nothing is available and also let me check my uh, Docker compose version okay so i have a docker compose available and uh, there is no images or container running at it at this time so let me create a directory called docker compose 01 sorry uh, it's a typo mkdir and uh, go inside this directory okay. I'm going to write a docker compose file just use docker hyphen compose dot yaml file right so the first thing I'm writing here is version okay you may be thinking this is uh, related to our docker compose version no actually there is no relationship with this with the docker compose version but this is the version or the standard that we are using to write this file so you can see the version 2 3 i'm using 3 and then write the services okay under services i can write what are the containers i'm going to build and uh, those name one by one and uh, it's a detail so i'm just using like uh, uh, mysql underscore database okay so this is the container or the service which i'm creating under that image so which image i need to use for building this container so i can write my image name mysql colon latest or whatever the version if you know the tag properly so we can use that or else uh, we can go to the uh, docker hub and uh, check uh, this mysql and uh, go to the tag and uh, that will give you the different versions so the latest is the latest available okay and uh, that's about uh, for the tag i mean uh, so the image and uh, next we have few options uh, like a port uh, then environment lot of things we can do here so i'm choosing as uh, this default uh, but for mysql uh, we have some mandatory uh, parameters that we need to pass along with the environment option so use that option environment so under this just use this so this will have the list of values so use iphone and mysql underscore root underscore password and write the password which we want to set for this mysql so that's it for uh, mysql and uh, the next service okay so that should be we should write just uh, in the same format here and uh, that service name i am writing as a uh, web or test whatever it may be right and uh, its image so this time i am adding or writing only the very mandatory uh, mandatory field which is needed to build the container so under services we have got uh, two things one is a mysql database and web underscore test so we are expecting to create two containers and the first container is will be using mysql latest image and the second one uh, second one also i can just use the latest flag here right so this will use this image and in my case these images are not available locally it will pull those images from docker hub and create the container so once this is done save this okay and uh, our docker compose file looks like this the version services under services we have got uh, two services and each one is going to create the container and we will see that so for creating the container we use docker compose up okay so if if i just use the docker compose up uh, it will run in an interactive mode so you can see that just enter 
so you can see all these messages and uh, this is downloading uh, those mysql and nginx images from uh, internet and it takes time depending on your network bandwidth now you can see uh, this is running okay and uh, this is running in an interactive mode that is why you are getting this message open another terminal and uh, uh, see like uh, just use uh, docker uh, image ls you can see these two images were not there earlier and this is downloaded as part of that docker compose process and uh, just type docker container ls you can see uh, two containers are running and uh, to uh, remove or uh, to stop this you go to the same directory where you have this docker compose file let me just check which file we have created and go to the di same directory where we have that docker compose file okay and just use the docker compose down so this will stop these containers and uh, clean this container properly so you can see this is stopping the container and now if i just use docker container ls nothing is there even if i just use iphone a flag so it's not showing that container but however if you just see docker image ls you can see those images in this window you can see the containers are uh, i mean docker compose is done but if you can do one more way this will do in a detachable mode so that it will run this process in background so since we have this uh, image file already downloaded so this is a bit faster now if i just use docker container ls you can see this container running and the same thing i can do docker compose down so this will stop the containers I hope this is very clear. So with that, I'm concluding this demo. We'll see in the next video. Thank you.